All right, we got a couple projects going tonight. Uh, Matt is uh, up here working on uh, doing the seam sealer work, and uh, we've got some um, Transtar seam sealer. Brushable, and uh, so he's just brushing it all these on all these weld joints that uh, from where we did floor pans and firewall work and uh, clearancing and things like that. We get a lot of seams to uh, that we butt welded that we've got to seal up. So he's working on that. We also got a new set of uh, hood hinges and uh, got those on the car, and uh, we had the hood bolted up and did a little test fit, and it fit pretty good. We didn't we didn't uh, get it finalized, but we got it pretty close just to get an idea of what it's going to look like and uh, make sure there were no major issues with it. And for the most part, it looked good. The gap was good on this fender. We didn't have a fender on that side, but the gap on this fender was good and um, sit level and was consistent. So that was good. The other thing we're doing is we got um, this, and this is a Westco uh, three piece harness. Um, so I'm going to be working on this while uh, Matt's doing the. Uh, doing the uh, seam sealer work. These cars uh, only came with a uh, with a two point harness, you know, lap belt deal. And uh, the seats are low back. Well, these are just the original seats we've got in here for mock up. We've got some better seats that we're going to be putting in here with it, have headdress and all. And uh, well, I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, up here is where the uh, the top anchor. Uh, is going to go and it's not originally meant to have one there from the factory on the 65 so we've got to do some cutting and welding and make some brackets and obviously it's a pretty important part of the car so we want to make sure we do it correctly and uh, that we uh, you know that everything we do is real strong on it so we're going to get started on doing the seat belts now and uh, we'll check back in with Matt uh, here in a little while on the seam sealing work. All right, well, we're making some progress out here, and, uh, you know, I just can't say enough how excited Matt was to do seam sealer work tonight. He was really, really fired up about it. Oh, yeah. Where are you, Matt? Oh, yeah. Tons. Got anything to say for the camera? What's up? So he's uh, continuing to make good progress on all of our seams and getting those sealed up on the inside. And when this is done, we'll have to get underneath and uh, seal them up from the uh, from the outside as well. And on the seat belt brackets, we'll show you what we're doing there. Um, we've got these backing plates that have to go inside the inner roof support. And uh, on this particular car, there's not a great way to to um, get it in there. So uh, what we did was we fished it up in there with a uh, piece of a coat hanger and uh, so we've got it um, back behind there and the uh, uh, this hole right here and the one I've got this uh, little screwdriver in are two holes that we drilled to uh, plug weld the backing plate in there just to uh, hold it steady uh, and, and you know clamp it in tight uh, to give it some support and then uh, of course it's got a 7 16th uh, fine thread bolt that goes through it and um, you know and that'll be the the top uh, support up here we also spanned across this joint um, on an overlap so that hopefully will give it a little bit more strength right there so uh, we've just got to plug weld uh, those two welds and uh, this upper bracket will be uh, finished up and then uh, we'll do the same thing on the other side and then then we've got a work on the lower mount down here um, and uh, we'll do that next all right well we've got uh, the uh, passenger side seam sealing work uh, mostly done and uh, so we'll get on the uh, driver side tomorrow night Matt did a good job on that any uh, do you have to tell us what you did there bud I just uh, took on these brushes and Smeared it on there. You gotta hurry though, because it does dry on it. So. Alright, good job, bud. Alright, we got the seat belt um, mount in there too, and the uh, light over there is shining right in my eyes, so I don't know if you can see that enough, but there it is. 
um, get that part done and then this section down here is going to be another story uh, we're going to have to figure out how we want to do that and uh, come up with a solution for how to mount the uh, lower uh, part that's got the uh, the reel in it that lets the seat belt in and out so we'll, uh, we'll uh, spend some time and get working on that but that'll, that'll be it for tonight all right a little bit of bonus coverage uh, just as we were going to go inside we decided to do a little bit more work and see if we can get this thing finished up on the lower section so we made a little weld plate we just welded a, uh, a nut on the back of a plate and uh, we made a uh, an access hole right here um, and then two holes or three holes down here the two on each side uh, there are to plug weld with and then uh, the one in the center is obviously the one the bolt will go through so um, yeah you can see that there now and then when we get done we will come back and uh, and uh, weld a little patch on this just make a little small patch weld it up and it'll be strong and good as new so this will slide down inside there go back behind that hole and then we'll weld it and we'll bolt it up weld it in place and it'll be, it'll be good to go so we're gonna go ahead and weld it now all right there's Matt in the car we got to uh, got the uh, driver's side all fixed up welded in uh, bolted in and uh, we got to make a little fine-tune adjustment there it's coming a little close to him and uh, we don't want to turn it into a guillotine, so we've got to make some adjustment to it, but it's uh, it's in there. <laughs> 